nice maple syrup coat them don't be stingy with the syrup we're gonna cut small pieces try and make them as even as possible there we go and then we're gonna simply place them over here once we have our last one on here get some cooked bell peppers that have salt and pepper in them already and we mix with these eggs here okay now we're simply going to take this here lift it up just a little to make sure that our eggs go everywhere and we pour once you've poured all your egg mixture in here give it a little shake to make sure there's no parts that are empty there you go and off to the oven so we're gonna pop these in here about 10 to 12 minutes and in the meantime we're gonna play with these we're gonna place these shot glasses like this grab yourself a grease spray and the reason we're doing this it's gonna help us unstick our potatoes on our next step take two eggs five grams of chives three tablespoons of parmesan five tablespoons of shredded cheddar a pinch of salt and pepper to your taste and now the important thing is to mix well grab yourself a nice heaping handful dump it in just like this now with the help of this shot glass that we greased place it right in the center so we press all our edges down make sure our cup is tight like that and we freeze this so we're gonna pop these right in depending on your freezer that could be between 30 and 90 minutes now we are back from the freezer take one of our cups and let's see if greasing it actually helped us show sure did take that out carefully grab this and slowly bring it into your hot oil which should be at about 375 All right, so we are getting ready to get our last one drying a bit hot it's okay let's turn them all over get our sour cream and onion dip squeeze it in there fill them all up place it right in the center grab yourself a nice slice place it here little chives and to enjoy this at its best, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in here, dip it. Mmm, mmm, mmm.
this is with our potatoes, aka mashed potatoes, that I've added just eggs to, and then also a little bit of flour. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on the outside and make little circle designs. Once I go to the next layer, you're gonna go a little bit bigger for the circle. And then once we get to the final, you're gonna go right into the center. Grab, and now we're gonna go into some hot oil. And you're gonna let it sit on top of the oil once you start seeing bubbles on the outside. And once we have that, you can go ahead and let it go. All right, so for your next layer, what you're gonna do, you're gonna lift up and you're gonna make a circle right in the center. And then you're gonna start doing the same thing of doing the circles on the outside. And so now we're just working from the inside out. And once you start getting to the outside, start rotating just a little bit like this. And then once you go all the way around, let it sit by pushing it back into the oil. And we're just gonna get a little bit brown and then we can let it go. All right, so once everything's cooked, you can get a spoon and you should be able to go under just like that. And now what I'm gonna do on the top, just let it fall. You can put both one on top of the other. Very, very easy to take out of the hot oil. Now I'm gonna put this on the grill to let rest and then also drip some more. All right, so now I'm gonna take the butter. Just follow me here. Use your biggest strength and you're gonna break it apart. So now we need to grease our plancha. So once you have that, you don't want it to run everywhere. So I have a little bowl, I'm just gonna stack those on top of each other. Now follow me, I already have my hamburger buns done, AKA hamburgers. Push it down just a little bit, and then finish off with my third one. Now, here comes the cool part. So I'm gonna start with a huge block of cheddar, going with some caramelized onions right on top. And then I'm just gonna repeat the process, because the caramelized onions are gonna go perfectly well with the burger. Set that to the side, go back here. Now we have our other hamburger. Wow, that's huge, huh? And this is a hamburger typical of Minnesota, just to let you know. So once we have it here with Chef Club Spices, grab your bowl, and what we'll do, we'll press down on it because we need to flatten everything out. Push, push, push. And then what you'll do, turn the bowl over. Now we're gonna create a little steam action, and it's time to get cooking. All right, so now we're gonna take off our little cover that we had. Just gonna dip up, and of course go right back looks wonderful. Now to make sure that everything looks even better, go ahead and get your triangles of your cheddar. We're just gonna put it right on top of each. All right, so we're just gonna finish with our last one here. Now it's time to let the cheese melt. All right, so with our burgers done, you're gonna grab it, and we want that cheese side to be coming out, so I'm gonna place this right on our bun. Tomatoes are already there. I'm gonna grab our lettuce, place this on just like this, and we got our other bun. You're gonna let it sit just like so. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, add a little greenery on top so you can do some green onions, aka chives. And of course, with anything, you gotta try it. So you can find this recipe only on chefclub.com.